What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit special because yesterday on the dev stream, uh, update 7 was kind of a, uh, teased. We knew it was coming, um, but update 7 was kind of teased uh, with a little video. So we're going to play it right now for you and we're going to talk about some of the speculations that uh, I've come up with, some of the communities come up with when I was live streaming because it, I was live streaming at the same time and bam, it just happened. I was like, oh, okay. So... Let's just jump into the trailer and let's just kind of break it down a little bit and what we can see and what we can kind of take from this trailer and hopefully try to figure out together what it could be. So let's just jump into the trailer and you're going to hear the synth wave and I love this music. I've always loved synth wave music. So first off, we can see the Pioneer. And I'm going to pause it right here because there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. So we can see... The Pioneer. A lot of people in the community and in the chat yesterday was mentioning it looks more of a male character, just the way he's holding himself. But I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's just because of the way he, uh, the sat uh, and the shadow coming down. It's making like he's got a different kind of armor on. Some people were saying his chest looks a bit different, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. I think having the, the kind of neutral character is going to be a thing for Satisfactory. Um, and... It, I think it's just more of what the whirring. You can't really tell what's going on in this area here. It's like it's more of a... Uh, it looks darker, so more like a kind of an armor kind of feel. Um, and then the other thing that kind of caught my eye here was the flooring behind the Pioneer. And if for those that, you know, work in engineering or anything regarding where a computer needs to track a certain surface area for something to be built, kind of like a... Um, printable, uh, what they're called, uh, 3D printers, um, what they kind of use in AI technology to actually track a position of or build something on a said stand. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Um, launch pads have these as well, these kind of markings um, and all this kind of stuff. And we can just kind of see the pink lights uh, and we can start to see the start of the computers here, which I kind of want to talk about. Um, a lot of kind of people were saying, is this the new MAM? It just didn't make sense. I think the smoke has maybe some significance with it. Uh, it could be just for the video aesthetic purposes and visual effects. Um, but then this computer comes up and people was like, you know, is it the, is it the new MAM? And then someone in chat was like, oh, is it the new dad? <laughs> like, you know, because the MAM, M-A-M, and dad, D -D -D -D, you know what I mean? So, uh, and then somebody was like, is it the MAM? He was like, what's the point of remaking the MAM? It's portable. We can place it down wherever we want. And then we know what the building kind of looks like. It's a tall building. Why would you want to place it anywhere? Um, and it just didn't make sense. And the only thing that kind of come up from this was, what if it's a computer that shows the statistics of the actual base itself so we can see the throughputs and outputs uh, all visually on the display? But then I think, what's the point in the flooring behind it? What's the point in the, in the structures behind it? That doesn't make sense either. Because uh, I was in an interview with uh, Snut and Jace last year, and I did mention, are we ever going to get something like this in game? And um, Snut came up with a great idea, because as you know, what a display thing is, is when we get into game, we can see uh, how many ore we're actually producing. So we'll see a little category, iron ore, and it will say, in total, we're producing... 1,500 uh, iron ore. And then it will show outside of that how much we're, we're, you know, we're consuming. And if that says 1,495, 1, you know, there's somewhere in your factory that has got a five def deficit because it's, you know, it's been backlogged. And then what Snup mentioned was like, it's a really cool idea. Uh, and what would even be better is if we was to put down a kind of like similar to a power switch or a light control panel. Uh, and then you connect your cable from that to a factory that's on a separate grid. So whatever's connected to that cable will show up on the display. So if you wanted, if you had an iron production building in the grasslands, you could put one of these consoles down and you connect the cable to that building and it will show all you the statistics about that building. You go to the, you know, the, the red forest, you'll put another one down at that building. And if you was to connect everything up in the world, you'll have a full display uh, or you could micromanage what you want. And I think micromanaging it was kind of cool. So people kind of thought it might have been production display. I don't think it is. The building's too big. Uh, let's continue as well onto this. And we can kind of see the light coming off the back of this. It's kind of a new thing they're kind of going with. And then we can kind of see here that 
Um, this computer is integrated into the actual structure itself. We can see the railings down here uh, and all that stuff. Uh, but we don't know if that is just the placeable ones we've done or it's just the same mesh that they kind of used for our buildables within the building buildable machine in itself. And then again, the flooring, the markers on the ground kind of marks off where you want to be printing, when we're building. We as pioneers use a little 3D printer kind of scanner thing. It kind of makes sense if that's something we do. Then I thought of something and I was like, this could work for vehicles. We've heard about and we know that there is a possible vehicle customizer kind of coming soon. Uh, well, we, say, we, can't, we can't say soon, but we know about it, right? We know, you know, they would like to add maybe some possible upgrades to your vehicles. Uh, would you like, you know, easier to grab biomass and all that kind of stuff? And, you know, and we know we can customize or paint vehicles with a customizer. But what would it... How cool would it be if we actually had to go to this machine? You go up to the console... And then this here actually prints your tractors, your trucks, your vehicles, and all that kind of stuff. That could be kind of cool. It's a way you can customize it. You can go be, you could name your vehicles from here and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you could put your attachments on or whatever. And it 3D prints it in this box. Um, that's the kind of thing at the minute. Um, like I said, everything's speculated and all that stuff. So let's just continue the video a bit. And then this happens. The lights appear. At first, I thought they were signs. They could be signs. But if they was, there would be a tiny break um, within them. We don't know if they've enhanced the signs just for the video aesthetic purposes. Are they referencing signs are going to actually emit light? Um, just as a little feature inside the, you know, the um, signs... Uh, UI that comes up and you have the emission 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We can actually switch. Do you want it to be emit light now? And by default, they'll all be off. So when you go into your game, you know, you, you, your game's not going to go to 2 FPS because of all your lights, if you're a person that puts signs everywhere, won't emit light straight away unless you assign it manually. And then something else come to mind here. They could be tube lights. There is a mod out there, which I've just seen recently through uh, with Popcack. And it's uh, a mod that puts lights down very similar to beams, kind of like tube lights. I thought it could have been that. And then something else come to mind. I was like, wait, we're in the November right now. And November is the 11th month and the 11th for the 11th. Could it be that? That means could the possible update coming out on a Friday, this Friday, 11th for the 11th? Maybe but I've never known Satisfactory to release an update outside of a Tuesday. And updates always come on a Tuesday. But then, on top of that, we know they want to get this update out as soon as possible before Christmas uh, and before the end of November because it's got to go on an experimental first, right? To get rid of all the bugs and all that kind of stuff. And then it's going to take two to three weeks for it to get pushed to early access which the last day they want to kind of push it out for is by the 13th of December, right? So it's again, 13th of December. The only reason I'm saying that is a Tuesday. And I always kind of go off Tuesday dates. And that's kind of like the last Tuesday before Christmas holidays and all this kind of stuff. So the dev team can, you know, I've got a week literally to fix it and all that kind of stuff. So um, the 11th of the 11th, it could be this Friday. Who knows? Or are we going to find out what this is on the 11th of the 11th? You know? Uh, we know that they release videos on Fridays with talking about machines, talking about stuff. Uh, is this what a reference to this sign is? They could put any signs here, but why 1111? Or is it just vertical signs? Who knows? And then the next thing that happens is the update logo. Um, as we know, the previous logos all have a significant, you know, where they look with what their update is. And update seven comes up like this. Big update seven neon sign. And then I was like, are we gonna get 
text in the customizer that we could put down as signs or lights, an alphabetical thing. And then I was like, is it just going to be mainly focused on lights? But then I, I then again was like looking at this building, like what is this building? Um, some people are thinking it's a buildable, some new buildables we're getting. I don't think it is. And the only reason I'm saying that, again, speculation, is down here, this foundation, there is a cable right here that is connected to the foundation that's connected to this pillar. So this is one whole structure. I don't think it's a separate building. Uh, sorry, separate buildables. Uh, I don't think so. And we can kind of see the cable running along these white little um, lights here. And then when I was looking closer at these lights, I was like, okay, do you know how we were just talking about 3D printers, um, holograms, all this kind of stuff? Could this be a hologram machine? But then what use would that be in Satisfactory? What use could that be as a thing? Could that be... <sighs> I don't know. It's... it's. You see why it's so confusing? Because are these lights kind of projecting this Update 7 logo here? Um, are these references to the 11 for the 11? Are these signs? There's just so much going on. We can see down here that this is, you know, the coated concrete. I thought at first it was a different kind of flooring. I thought we might just get a full polished floor, like a, just a, you know, with no tiles or uh, and like uh, like depth or cutouts or anything. And yeah, it confused the hell out of me. It confused the hell out of me. And then it, again, the only thing I'm thinking right here is, you know, when we move back here, it could be just for the video purpose. But just as the video progresses, you'll see this update seven thing stay inside this. It never leaves this. And the reason I said the update seven, you know, titles are you know very important with you know what the kind of update features are if you if you look at update four i'll put a logo up on the screen uh update four logo it, it has the blue arrow which means the release of drones right we you know was taken off um update six for example the exploration update it has the red dots going through it you know very and the, this kind of spiral kind of like a pirate map you know you're exploring so what does this tell us about update seven does this mean we're just getting more lights because as you know we're getting more lights but then what does this building have within this update what is it we can tell we well we we can tell it's tall we know that we can see it visually the pioneer is about one 1.8 meters to two two meters tall um so if you kind of think of the pioneer right there he's about two meters i'm thinking this building itself if this is to scale could be 20 meters tall at least um and that's 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 pretty tall and if you look at um a resource sink they're nine meters tall right so maybe my, my sizing off here but maybe this could be anywhere between 14 to 20 meters tall and a resource sink is not uh, nine meters tall sorry 11 resource sink is around 11 meters tall um so is this something you know and like is it three meters wide because as we know, a man fits perfectly new enough on a, you know, a grid one one foundation. These probably are duplicated foundations here. So this is this is more than likely a one meter foundation right here, or maybe a two. And it, it, this is looks like it's three foundations wide, so maybe nine back, so now uh, three by three, and possibly fourteen to twenty meters tall. We don't know, but like I said, it's all speculation right now, and maybe we find out on the eleventh for the eleventh on Friday uh, what this building is. Um, or maybe we'll just find out in the update itself. So please let me know in the comments what you guys think this possible building is. Um, and it's confusing the hell out of me. It's the most confusing video by the developers that has, has, uh, 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 that's ever been released. Um, and I'm super interested to see what it is. Because update 7 was meant to be a small update. And I didn't think a small update would come with a new building. You know? Or is, is it just a red herring that it, they're saying it's a small update, but technically it's not? It's it's going to be like, you know, update 4 or update 5. Update 6 was meant to be a small update with just buildables. Updates, sorry, so yeah. Yeah, updates, was it update 6? Update 5, sorry. Was meant to be a small update, which was last year. Which was just buildables and, you know, the new pillars and all that kind of stuff and then that was kind of larger than it was but then update six come out and i was like wait that's a smaller update um than what update five was and then this they're saying update seven is meant to be smaller than update six 
Who knows? They could be Polaroid Hills again. They never said drones or liquids will come to the game. They did. So you never know. You can you can never trust these guys. Just don't trust them. Whatever they say. Just don't trust them. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll wait and see what's to come. So guys, so check out these other content here. Um, this is a small little short video. Uh, I just kind of want to talk about it and see what your guys' thoughts are in the comments as well. So please put your comments below. And I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Keep smiling. I'll see you in the next video.